Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna go over my top five books that I would recommend every single person who's aspiring to be a web developer to read. Now, the first book is actually two books. It's gonna be HTML and CSS and JavaScript and jQuery by uh, John Duckett. Now, these two books are very beginner level books, but if you're just getting into web development, you kind of know that you want to get into web development. Maybe you've seen a couple tutorials on YouTube, but now you want to go ahead and settle down and start actually learning HTML, CSS and JavaScript. These are the books right here for you. Now, you've probably seen these books before because they're actually very popular and they're popular for a reason. You see, they're very visual. So as you're reading it, you'll see what the page would look like in full color and the code on the side. And it gets it, it makes it way less boring when you're reading the book, especially if you're a beginner, because it doesn't want to you don't want to feel like you're reading a college uh, college book. It's actually very, very beginner friendly and very, very nice to look at. Now, by the time you finish these two books, you'll actually have a pretty solid foundation. And I think you'll be ready to go ahead and start learning the more intermediate level concepts in JavaScript. I think by the time you finish these two books, you'll actually be ready to start on your own solo project. Now, don't get me wrong, you're gonna need, you're absolutely gonna need to keep Googling and keep doing more research and read the rest of the books that I've got in this video, but it's gonna be a really good start for you. The next book here is How Linux Works, and this is by Brian Ward. Now, this may not seem super intuitive, but Linux is actually extremely important if you're gonna be a web developer. See, you'll be using Linux a lot. Um, you'll be doing things such as copying files to a remote server, um, starting and editing services on a remote server, editing files on a remote server, pushing files to a remote server, including deploying your app. Now, there are certain scenarios where you may never come in contact with Linux, but that's very rare. And even just knowing Bash, you know, uh, Mac uses Bash. So it's just really helpful as a developer to understand Bash, and it's extremely helpful to understand Linux. Now, you're not going to be a Linux master by the time you finish this book, but you'll have a really solid foundation on the operating system. And you'll have a pretty good foundation in Bash, too. But I think the main reason that I wanted to recommend this book is because I think a lot of web developers don't understand that they probably ought to know um, Linux, but they really ought to. And it's kind of like everybody talks about how you need to know SQL as a developer. And I do agree, you do need to know SQL, but that's something most people already know. Linux, on the other hand, is something I believe every single web developer should know, and they it's not talked about nearly as much. Now, this next book is kind of a little bit different than the rest of the books that I've shown. This book is called Code by Charles Petzold. Now, this is a classic. This is not a book where you're going to be reading actual code, even though it's called code. This is a book that's going to kind of go through a story. It's going to tell you a story, and through telling you this story, you're going to learn a lot about the evolution of hardware, and computer systems in general. Now, the reason why I'm recommending this book is because it's not only is it extremely fascinating and entertaining, but also you're going to learn a lot about the actual overall architecture of what you're actually working on when you program. OK, so this next book is Understanding ECMAScript 6 by Nicholas Zakaz. And I might be mispronouncing that last name. And I do apologize if I am. But this book is extremely, extremely good. Now. This is not for a beginner. This is for somebody who already knows how to use JavaScript and is kind of wanting to up their level and get caught up to modern JavaScript. It goes over things like arrow functions and the new JavaScript scope, like var, uh, like it used to just be var, but now there's const and let. And it goes over a lot of things that are new to JavaScript. And it even goes up to, um, I think, JavaScript 2017 or ECMAScript 2017 is what I meant to say. But this book is absolutely essential. It goes over iterators and generators and just a lot of things that a lot of developers don't know about if they haven't studied specifically ES6 and above. So I highly recommend this book. Now this next book is by far my absolute favorite JavaScript book of all time. This book is absolutely essential if you ask me. Now it's not for beginners. I think it's kind of advertised as though it is for beginners, but I'm not going to recommend it to you if you're a beginner. I would say be at the intermediate level, ready to learn JavaScript and take it to that intermediate advanced level. Because this book goes over JavaScript in a very detailed way and goes over it in a way that you really understand the language itself. And this book is called Eloquent JavaScript by Maureen Haberbeek. And I know I mispronounced that, <laughs> I'm sorry, but absolutely get this book. I, I cannot stress it enough. I. I consistently read this book. Um, I think 
Even though I've read this book, I read it over and over again. I keep reading it in a cycle because it's that important to me. It goes over so many different topics that I think that everybody who is working in JavaScript, not all of them have a full understanding of the concepts of JavaScript. And I think that this book really goes over those details that you might be missing to kind of get you to understand what is really going on when you're programming in JavaScript, especially if you come from a background in say C sharp or something like that. And you go to JavaScript and you start programming and it looks familiar, the syntax looks familiar, but maybe certain things are really confusing to you as you're programming and you, you're like, why is it doing this? Read this book because you're gonna understand a lot better why these things are happening. Now I've got one more book for you guys. I know it's supposed to be top five books, but I just wanted to throw in an extra one because yeah, why not? So this is Software Engineering by Rod Stevens, or I'm sorry, Beginning Software Engineering by Rod Stevens. Now I've talked about this book in a previous video and I wanted to talk about it again because of how important I think it is if you're trying to become a web developer. Now, if you're going to be a web developer and you're planning to never work for a company or work with a team, maybe it's not that important. But if you're ever planning to work with a team or you're ever planning to go to a company and try to become a web developer, you really ought to read that book because it's going to teach you a lot of the things that the team is going to expect you to already know that has nothing to do with writing code. This is things like Scrum. Uh, this is things like um, overall how to plan uh, software development. It goes over an enormous amount of topics and I highly recommend that you give this book a read. All right guys, so that was my top five recommendations with an extra one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.